took her to eight under par. She began on 10 this morning. And then here she is at the six, the par three. Play slightly uphill, green slope from the back to the front. And that was pinpoint. This is a par 71. So here is her third at the par five seven. And this is a long par five, one that requires precision off the tee, off the second shot. And if you want a birdie, you better do that. Moria Jutanagarn at the 10th. Karen, quite the number to stare at for these <laughs> players in the afternoon wave. No question. They know that low numbers are out there. The course is soft. Players can fire at the flags. And great example of that there from Moria. And that was uh, very un -Moria like Normally really good with that club. Um, looks like she just a little deceleration on it, a little bit unsure of the line. A lot of club to be going into this 11th green with. It's one of the more slopey greens on the course, but with that rain, it's really softened things up out there, so she's able to produce something good. Now, this is the opposite end of the spectrum at 11. Paula Creamer with a beautiful shot in, but above the hole, about a third of the distance of A. Lim Kim. Nice. Able to handle it. Playing this more like 135. Saw the finish, just left of it, birdie the eighth to get it back to even par. There's another chance there. We go out to Matilda Castro in her second at the 11th. Karen just playing some great golf of late and understandably with that golf swing. Well, I mean, there's really not an awful lot can go wrong. Uh, it's just pretty much straight back, straight through. Always got good rhythm, good tempo to it. Uh, it'd be better off. Matilda Castro to make it. A hat trick at the 11th, a difficult hole, no problem there. She does not miss those. But pummeled a drive down here to where she just has a little gap wedge in. She'll go right at this. And she does, a little bit above the hole, but a really good chance there for Brooke, who spent. But she's not afraid to go low, and some mm -hmm. other players get uncomfortable in that position. No, uh, she, I agree with you 100%. Evidently, Nasa is not afraid to go low either. Just like Kay said, much needed birdie to make the turn for Brooke Henderson. To 11. At the 11th now, yes. A. Lim Kim, U.S. Open champion, 2020. Straight up the hill. Karen said this has a ton of slope in the green. Beautiful there. She left it in the right spot. You've got to be right at this flag, putting back up at it. Anything left of this whole location, it is speedy. Stacy Lewis. I am indeed from 142. That is a nine iron okay. online. Ever so slightly to her left, uphill the whole way. She hopes to be back here in uh, less than two months' time for the Solheim Cup. She's not inside the top seven. Here is the U.S. Women's Open champion, Yuka Sasso. That was from 115 back into a little breeze, turning a little bit left. Trip, you were at Olympic Club. You got an awful uh, good look at Yuka Sasso that week, didn't you? Indeed. Very impressive. Sasso for birdie at 10. This is her first start in a non-major since getting her, uh, her LPGA Tour card via to 12. Matilda Castro in second. Won't have much of a third. Up at the 12th, birdie putt for Matilda Castro. Something we've got used to saying, isn't it? Something we've got used to seeing as well. Such amazing rhythm to that swing. It's just, just good looking yeah. shot all round, and you know, making a, sh you know, a shot with a short to mid iron just looked very easy there. Stacy Lewis, second shot at 11. Same exact yardage, six iron in hand, wind out of the right. Good, good looking line. Posing. Really nice shallow angle of attack into that too. Picked it very cleanly. That's all the claps she gets. She's from here. 
<laughs> the amount of liquid refreshment would certainly have an effect on that, but I'd probably give it to you. Here's Alana Urell at par 3 14th. I mean, we see a lot from Stacey Lewis from Arkansas. Alana played her golf there at Arkansas as well. And again, a player that has a great deal of potential. That's a seven iron, just a pretty normal one. Right distance, exactly hole high. Paula Creamer first cut a rough at 13. Two under on the round. Played last week on the weekend. Oh, oh. Nearly perfect. She'll take it though. Dead in the middle of the fairway. 138. Nine iron in hand. Good looking shot. Just left the hole. Very nice. Matilda never got to that list because she <laughs> won in her 15th start. This is at 14. And this is, you know, contended last week, and she's putting herself in the equation again this week. I mean, she really is rising to the occasion. Amy Olson up ahead at 13. Trying to get one close here on the shortest par four. And this is a player, you know, to Tripp's point about having a win. I would probably put Amy even ahead of Megan Kang on that win list. Like, she seems to have been up there, you know, at majors and playing well. From the right center of the fairway, eight iron in her hand. 148 yards to generally a, a middle hole location. Oh, that looked really good from uh -huh. the fairway. Yeah, and it's going to look really good when she gets out there and sees it. What, seven feet, maybe six? Most of these players are pretty good at erasing their mistakes and uh, immediately hitting the delete button. 133 is Megan's number. This is nine iron. A much better line. This looks pretty good. Oh, yeah. The second shot of Paula Creamer now just a short wedge for her third at the 17th. Clipped it nicely. Shallow divot into the little breeze. Oh. Not expecting that kind of reaction on the green. Once about a foot from the hole. Now, has this for birdie? Oh, no, that's maddening. Still a nice round going. R5, 18th to come. In a little over a month's time. 17. You can't see her, but that is Matilda Castron playing her third. And playing it very, very nicely. Who knew that that was the right angle there to come in from? So, yeah, she's precise. Seventeen. Yeah, Castron for yet another one. Rolls it in with authority. That ball looks like it's just a, it looks like a groundhog going home. The way she puts it, it just goes on at perfect speed every so time. So simple, isn't it? Uh huh. She's got a pretty straightforward shot here from the left side of this fairway. Just a sand wedge left downhill. Good. Yeah, that's what she needed. If you can't make the longer putts, hit it in closer. Typically, especially in her more, I guess, dominant years, if you will, could really dial in the distance. Now well, this one looks just a touch long. Not bad at all. Pretty straightforward shot, Jerry. 20 paces to the front, another 17 to the hole. Oh! Oh, just kiss the flagstick. I'm not sure that doesn't go in without the flagstick. Look like it just put on the brakes on the second hop. Just a moment ago, Cheyenne Knight, very long range from the back of the green. For Birdie. Trying to lag it. Get it close. Or oh, just drop it on the last roll. Back to back birdies to finish her round. And get it to minus two. See if she flies it further back there or plays for a little release. She hit that nice and aggressively. That'll be for a round of 69. Love and hugs to you as well. 17. We 
can't stop thinking about Grace. This is Chris Tomolis, Michigan native, one state away, her third at the 17th. Let's have one win on the LPJ Tour to her credit in uh, Where'd she go to school? Alabama.